Heard about the MSP432 microcontroller and its new low power and high performance features and ready to test it out for yourself? Well, we've got an MSP430 launchpad designed to make your evaluation of the MSP432 MCU simple and it enables you to get started on a project of your own very quickly. In this video, we'll show you how to use the new launchpad to get started with the MSP432 MCU and tap into the great collection of MSP resources and the ecosystem. So if you haven't seen it already, you can also get a quick intro to the new MSP432 MCU in this video. In short, the MSP432 MCU is the MSP's new low-power 32-bit family designed to help you add more performance to your application without impacting your energy budget. So let's get started with the out-of-box demo. Note that this example code used in the demo can also serve as a foundation for your own application code, helping you get started faster. So first of all, apply power to your board by connecting the USB cable from your launch pad to your computer. First of all, you will notice that the green power LED will illuminate. That's the power LED of the debugger, the onboard debugger named XDS110ET, which supports Energy Trace Plus, a real-time energy, energy profiling tool when using with Code Composer Studio. Now, you can also notice that the red part of the RGB LED uh, is also blinking, indicating that the launch pad is ready for you to play with. Um, so this demo is essentially an old school metronome where you can create your own beat per minute by tapping on the switch S1. Uh, so I'm going to press on the switch S1 to change the blinking rate of uh, the red LED. If you notice, uh, as, I'm blink as I'm tapping faster, the LED is also blinking faster. Uh, you can also use the other switch S2 to toggle between the colors. So we can cycle between red, green, blue, and a random color. So we chose this bright RGB LEDs for a reason. Uh, they were chosen to showcase the unique high drive IOs on MSP432. Uh, each pin is capable of driving up to 20 milliamps of current. Uh, to gain more control over the LEDs, you can also run the out-of-box GUI on the computer connected to the launch pad. So once you have it connected to the computer, you can actually type in uh, how fast to, uh, to blink the LEDs. So we just need to wait a minute here while the GUI is connecting to the launch pad. And once it's open, I'm going to type in here 400 beats per minute. And as you can see, uh, the LED is now blinking faster. You can, you can also change the color and select from over 16 million colors using the color wheel. As you can see right now, it's already changing to purple. Speaking of downloading a GUI, what's the best way to go about getting the right software? Well, now there's a new way for you to get all the software you need in just a few seconds. TI's Cloud Resource Explorer is a new online tool that enables you to easily navigate and access all information, documentation, and software packages like MSPWare, which contains user guides, data sheet, code examples, app notes, training, GUIs, and much, much more uh, without downloading the entire collection onto your computer. Uh, in addition, the included CCS Cloud IDE enables you to develop code from anywhere without having been tied to one physical machine. Uh, so to access the Cloud Resource Explorer, you can go to dev.ti.com, click on Resource Explorer, and choose from a list of devices and tools. An easy way to find the MSP432 GUI is to go to Development Tools and select MSP432 Launchpad and select MSP-EXP432P401R and then Out of Box Experience GUI. So once done there, you can also go around and browse for more user guide, application node, or code examples. Simple and fast. If you prefer the traditional route, you can still download all the files you need for CCS, IR, or Kyle uh, with the MSPWare packages um, at ti.com slash tool slash MSPWare. Uh, this gives you a brief look at the MSP432 launchpad. 
but by no means showcases all the features this new low-power, high-performance MCU is capable of. You can choose from a large variety of booster packs, which stack onto the launch pad to enable more functionalities like wireless connectivity or displays. So learn more at ti.com slash booster pack. So with an MSP432 launch pad and the TI Cloud development tools, you've got all the hardware and the software tools you need to start your own low-power, high-performance application. So to learn more, go to ti.com slash msp432. Thanks for watching.